Tonight, we want to travel back in time to introduce you to stories untold and the man who wants to tell them. Channel 3's Leon Bibb takes us to Lorain County tonight, where cold cases from the past are in a very real way being brought back to life. The headline screams murder, but the reader's attention heightens when the murder is mysterious and unsolved. You're now in the world of a Lorain County author who lives in the murders and mysteries of Lorain County, but only those long, long ago. I sometimes lament the fact that I wasn't born earlier. So a history-minded bookish man from his Oberlin, Ohio home delves into the past and into the mysterious shadows of Lorain County between 1824 and 1956. Don Hilton is not a detective, but a retired geologist turned storyteller who follows mostly forgotten murders which were peppered with intrigue and with questions of who done it. A book writing bloodhound who cannot let unsolved murder cases go pinned murders, mysteries, and history of Lorain County, Ohio. So Hilton, what did you hope to find? And the thing that is a constant surprise to me is how little people change. And that's your clue. Murders then, murders now. Hilton insists criminals are the same, no matter where or when. While Lorraine County, it's home. His wife looks over his shoulder as he peruses faded newspaper accounts of 80 or 90 or more years ago. In the old print, he uncovers a common theme running through the underbelly of humanity. 10,000 years ago, people were killing each other for the same reason we kill each other for now. Interest in and all in this? 10, you bet your life. This spring, Hilton will lead tours already sold out to forgotten Lorain County murder scenes where he will mouth what happened. Drinking early Sample. Today. On the corner of 5th and West, uh, Bobby Bruce stabs Jimmy Ryan and Jimmy Ryan makes it about a block in the town before he keels over. Hilton believes whether people admitted stories of strange murders, even generations ago, can hold interest. Americans love it. That's why TV cop shows pull big ratings. You know, I, I think that's part of it. The old saying, if walls could talk, what mysterious goings-on have these old Lorain County buildings seen generations ago? In their shadows and in the dark recesses of other areas, crimes were committed. The sister of a priest uh, of a very well-known family in Lorain um, who was murdered in, in her bed. This is a man out in um, Columbia Township whose body was uh, found in a burned barn. Through the generations, people have not really changed that much. Crimes that take place today are much the same as the crimes that took place in yesteryear. What has changed, however, is the technology and the reporting of the investigation. So the book is not only about the way many people were, but also about the way many people still are. It's lust, greed, jealousy, vanity. So all those, it's why they're called the deadly sins, I suppose. So if you think Hilton is one of those hard-boiled cops following the scent of an unsolved murder, you've got it all wrong. Just a bookish man who writes about life and death and often about the one who got away. In Lorraine County, I'm Leon Bill.